Well, I, I champion and support the Theater Trust because it really brings so much vibrancy to downtown, bringing in all these folks to see really spectacular productions. Just that experience and that connection that you have to either the show or to the individuals that you maybe are enjoying the show with. And to me, that's always been an exciting piece of coming downtown is, is being able to share that connection with others. I'm always in awe when I walk in. It's always fun just to take in the atmosphere. It offers so much to our community, no matter where you are, no matter who you are. Uh, there's so many pieces, there's so many stories to be told. It helps people celebrate. Arts and culture in a community really brings people together. Uh, a, a community that has a vibrant arts and culture is an incredible place to live and be involved with. It brings humans together as one. I think regardless of how many times I've been to the theater, it always feels special. Each and every time there's something different. I think it's the energy that's created around the theater, it's the anticipation of the show itself, and then when you get there, it's the beauty of the theater, and I think it's an opportunity to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and forget about those day-to-day -day stressors that we all have each and every day of our lives. Hennepin Theater Trust has a program that I value called Spotlight Education. What it does is it brings high school students together from across the state for a year-long program that exposes them to working theater professionals. And by that, the high school students are able to develop their knowledge, their skills, their abilities, their talents for live entertainment and live theater. It allows students to try something and be part of something that they may have never been before or been, been a part of before, like Spotlight Showcase. How many of these students will ever get a chance to be on the State Theater um, and perform in front of such a huge crowd. It's amazing. And I've just seen what it does to kids and, and, and to see the smiles and the excitement on their faces. I, ju I just am, am reminded of that constantly and, and going to uh, Spotlight a few weeks ago, it was just great seeing these kids just giving it all on the stage. And uh, you know, it, it gives me uh, uh, a lot of joy to know that they're going to be successful down the road as a result of what's going on with Spotlight. I think that the theater district is so important to the core of downtown Minneapolis and the vibrancy of the downtown community and I think it's just critically important for us to have not just these physical theater assets but all the other vibrancy that the trust is committed to creating in the district. And when we have a vibrant community, businesses and individuals all have the opportunity to thrive. And the arts has a, a special way, I think, of bringing people together. I like to think of it as food for our souls. Uh, and when we have that exposure to the arts, it gives us an opportunity to better understand our larger world. I think it opens up our hearts, it opens up our minds, and we really see how similar we are and it gives us the opportunity to appreciate our differences, but above all, it gives us that opportunity to experience pure joy. And I think as a result, our community is a happier and healthier place for all of us to live. Being able to preserve this history, I think is so important, and, and being able to preserve these gorgeous theaters uh, as they were built, really, I, I think, adds to the experience so much. You know, you just walk in and, and uh, the buildings, you can't build something like that today. You know, you go into a venue like the Orpheum or the State or the Pantages and, and uh, you know, you get a sense of history. What, what has gone on here over many, many years and what that means to the Twin Cities. I'm so glad that the community leaders that made the decision to preserve these great theaters did so because now we get a chance to enjoy that and during the whole celebration of this 100 years, it really allows us the opportunity to reflect back and to see how, how proud we are and how, how blessed we are to have these great assets.